you're doing a timing belt. You have got everything lined up. How many times do you have to rotate the engine over to verify that all the marks on the timing belt line up and you're good to put the car back together and drive your car? Pulley that, that drives the timing belt has 24 teeth. The cam pulleys have 48 teeth. So for every one or for every two times that the crank pulley goes around, the cam pulley is going around one time. Now the question is how many how many teeth are on the timing belt? Turns out it's 281. Now 281 is an odd number, 24, 48, even numbers. Um, but if 281 is ringing a bell with you because it, there's something that's a bit off with it, you're right, it's a prime number. What that means is that it, there's nothing that divides into it. So I think it's 11.7 rotations to get the mark back to where it kind of should be, but it's gonna be off because there's an odd number of teeth on the timing belt. If you're going by the white markers on your timing belt, after rotating twice around, it would look like everything has gone horribly wrong, but it hasn't. And this is why Subaru gives us indicators on the timing cover as well, because once you rotate things around, what you want to verify is that the crank pulley and the cam pulleys are rotating in unison. And so now that we've rotated the engine a couple of times, what we're looking for is, is the indicating mark on the, on the uh, cam pulleys and the crank pulley to line up with the markers on the timing cover.